Let me show you what I just played here. Um, this is a groove based on a Prince song, and uh, it's an A minor. It could be A minor sharp 9 or A minor, A minor to D7. It's kind of a little uh, abstract in terms of the harmony. But it's an A minor or A. Um, let me start with the second part and then I'll get to the main part and uh, we'll discuss that. So the first part is just actually a part that is a part of the song and it's a part of the groove that kind of glues it together. It's one of those things that where you have that thing on top of the drums and the bass when you play the, the other rhythm guitar on top of it, you kind of have to know where to play between those cracks, but what's, that's what kind of keeps the groove going. So this is the part. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. And all it is is really it's fourth over my A minor pentatonic. So it's this thing. It's G, C, E, a and D G. It's just a pentatonic scale in fourths, really. I just play the pentatonic scale in fourths. So again, the part is one, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. And that's kind of the part that really glues this this groove together with what the bass and the drums are doing and then the other rhythm guitar that we're going to discuss now is kind of playing around that or between those hits to make it to make it feel like that funk thing so let me show you that other guitar part the other guitar part goes like this one two three four Let me do this again for you, a little slower. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. So let me break it down now. Again, we're in A minor 7. or uh, It's basically A, but A minor. So it's basically this chord. Uh, it's the 3rd, the 7, and the 1 of A minor. So C, G, A. And, um, and then it goes to A minor 6. So I basically move the 4th finger to the 6th, the 7 to the 6th. Everything else stays the same. And it's really important when you play these kind of parts to make sure that you don't play extra notes on the bottom or make it too big. You don't want to play it like this. Like you don't want to play like. You want to play it more tight and rhythmical. It's almost like you're a drummer with the right hand and the left hand is muting everything unless you need to play that chord. And again, the right hand kind of moves up and down all the time. So and accenting. So the right hand just accenting accenting the, the, the chords when they need to be accent. That's like the melody of the rhythm. And then there's a little thing here. It's just a 7 to the 1, G to A. That happens a lot in rhythm guitar, like you can play some kind of groove. You can kind of play with those, with those notes. They're a part of the F A minor pentatonic scale, so you can actually add other notes into it, which are from the minor pentatonic scale, and even improvise over it. So 3, 4... So 
So what I just did is I improvised over A minor with using that figure. And then when I had that space, I basically played some notes out of the A minor pentatonic. Now again, the key is to keep it rhythm rhythmical and not and make the notes not too long, like more staccato-ish and funky. Because if you play <laughs> It's not as rhythmical. You you may want to, you know, that's kind of the vibe. Um, now the second part, I played the riff. I went the the last part of the riff. I went to this fourth movement. So it was this thing: three, four. So this thing. It's basically fourths. It's B, E, B flat, E flat, A, D, and C, A. So, and it's a part of the pentatonic scale. It's basically me playing, but with two notes. You can harmonize it in a different way. It's however you want to harmonize it. I decided to harmonize it with fourths. So, it's got kind of an R and B thing. So this is how the this part goes. There's a, there's, let me play the whole thing in three, four. And notice the that when I don't play the accents, the right hand still keep going and keep kind of doing movement and muting the strings, but you don't really hear it. It's just kind of a part of the groove. Now, another thing I wanted to talk to you about, which is really, really important in um, playing this kind of parts, like rhythm guitar parts, especially when there's two uh, parts together, is sound and what you can get out of the guitar that will kind of interact with the other part and will make both parts kind of work together and not clash sound-wise also, not only in terms of the rhythms and the parts. So the main key for rhythm guitar is your volume knob on your guitar. That creates a lot of different textures out of the pickup, whichever pickup that you're using, and that actually creates a lot of those kind of really funky tones that we hear on records. So I'll just give you an example. This is... This is the chord. This is me playing the neck pickup. Now I'm going to slightly take the volume down of the guitar. Now what you hear is you hear there's a lot less of the edge of the pickup, a lot less highs, and it's almost like it's a drier sound. And that's a very, very kind of uh, popular kind of funk uh, sound. I think Prince uses this kind of approach a lot. where. Where if I were to play with a full volume, so it's just a different vibe, and sometimes those small little sounds when they're dry and small like this, and a little darker, they actually kind of sound really funky inside a track. And this is only one part, like you can start going with the volume all the way down. This is only on one pickup. Now let's take the bridge pickup for example, it's the same thing. If you do this part, this is a very full kind of edgy sound. What happens if you take the volume down a little bit? You get a kind of scratchy kind of thing. And that's a very powerful point because a lot of those rhythm guitar parts, you want to kind of make sure they don't all sound the same in one track. You want to make sure that maybe one guitar play a Strat sound, one guitar play a Tele sound, but also within the guitar itself, there's a lot of textures that can be achieved by just using the volume pa the volume knob. Um, I don't use the, the treble knob much, but you can if you feel like it gives you an, some more vibe. But I think just with rolling the volume, again, it depends on what pickups you have also and what guitar. But with rolling the volume, you can get a lot of different kind of sound. Here's This is a full-on bridge. This is a little less. This is a little less. You know, that stuff is really, really cool sounding. 
Then you have the neck pickup, same thing, full. A little less. A little darker, I guess, then a little less. And then you have the middle position that you can play with also, you know? Where you take the volume down a little. And then a little more. It's almost like an EQ filter that you put on the pickups where, you know, it changes the sound and it, it really, really works very, very well with rhythm guitar, especially when you have more than one guitar part. So I think that's a very important tip to have while you're playing rhythm guitar.